Didn't see you guys there. Today's the day. Let's tear it down. All right, guys, it's Ben from Retroformance here, and we got a good day today. We are going to tear down the 1986 CR250 Husqvarna. Uh, we're gonna kind of walk through some uh, tips and tricks on how to tear down a bike to make sure you keep it all organized. And uh, it's gonna be a little bit, little bit of fun today. Uh, we're gonna strip it down, and we gotta get some stuff organized for powder coating so that we can get this thing done by Unadilla because uh, it's coming up. So uh, let's go. Okay, one thing that I always try to do with any of our builds is to stay organized. And uh, it's easy to kind of dive in and start tearing stuff down because you're excited. You're like, oh, let's rebuild this thing. Um, but try to stay organized from the beginning. So what I always do is I always go and buy a bag of snack Ziploc bags. Um, these are Glad. I don't want any brand product placement here. But um, just go buy a box. It's the best thing you can do. Take this right on it whatever you're taking off the bike if it's something kind of unique like plastics hardware something write it on the bag put it all in here because you're going to thank yourself later once you go to put this thing together it is a pain in the butt trying to remember what 10 millimeter bolts what other eight millimeter bolts go where so top tip number one. Second thing get some tubs easy enough you get to put say there's a complicated thing maybe like a car and all the stuff that goes along with it label it get yourself some tape and a Sharpie, put it right on there. Again, not something clear might be easier because then you can see it and when you lay everything out, you'll be able to know, hey, I need the carb right now, go grab this box. So really easy thing to do, easy thing to overlook, but uh, definitely you're gonna be thanking yourself later when you go put this bike back together. We uh, worked in here for quite a few years with no trash. You wouldn't be, you'd be surprised how much stuff you don't know what to do with it. <laughs> you can't throw something like a zip tie out. Now we have a dumpster. Oh man, the possibilities are endless. Factory zip tie job. Clamp. All right, top tip number two. Um, it's easy to get carried away and think that you're gonna refinish every aspect of the bike. Um, nuts, bolts, little brackets, everything. But you gotta remember that every time you take it to that next level, it's gonna be longer, more things to keep track of and everything. So things that are like kind of all put together and that you probably aren't gonna refinish, don't bother taking it apart, but see if you can get it off the bike. So like this whole, rubber assembly to hold this pipe on. Um, I'm just gonna take it off, leave it on the pipe because the pipe's in good shape. So what we're not gonna do is take apart every little bracket, nut, and washer, everything, because I'm probably just gonna leave those mounts together, put it away, and uh, just so I can get it off the frame because really the frame getting powder coated is much more important than doing the pipe. So uh, don't take anything apart, you don't have to.
got my box bus boys. <laughs> All right, guys, did pretty good tonight. Only had a couple hours to start on this project, but we got it mostly down to motor suspension and frame here. And uh, we're gonna uh, take the swing arm, wheels, subframe, suspension, and motor out all tomorrow. We'll get it dialed in to uh, start sending this stuff out for powder coating. See you tomorrow. All right, guys, day two. We have the uh, bike kind of where we want it. Um, made good progress yesterday. Uh, we're at it again today. We're gonna get it right down to the frame and uh, start taking the suspension apart and the wheels and uh, go from there. I will give you twenty dollars. You can tell me who sings this. Me. That's nice. It smells bad. It smells bad? Yeah. What'd you do?
right guys, great day today. Got the whole thing stripped down just to the frame. We had a little bit of an issue where the spanner nut on the steer, uh, steering tube stem was way over tight and we almost couldn't get it off of anything. So we had a little trick up our sleeves. We were able to throw it in the truck and the lathe with a little key of tool steel in one of the spanners and lock it against there and actually twist the uh, triple clamps to unspin that nut off. So save this there because I don't really know how else we were gonna get that out, maybe weld something on it. But um, other than that, it looks great. Everything's boxed up, kind of ready to get uh, organized to send out. Uh, figure out what we're going to do to refinish it. We might change up some of the coatings that actually originally came on the bike. Some stuff that's powder, we might leave raw aluminum and uh, so forth. So we got to figure that out, clean it out, get the suspension set up and done and gone through. And uh, then really get back into uh, diving into the motor. So uh, that's going to be outside draining for a little bit into a pan, get all the fluids out of it. We'll put it on the bench to, uh, to uh, rebuild it. So thanks for tuning in. Um, catch it next episode when we uh, dive into the motor. And uh, stay tuned, follow the channel for uh, all the other build updates that we got going on with cars and bikes and whatnot, and uh, as well as the facilities. So uh, make sure you follow along. Thanks. Bye. Watch out for the Retroformance Swimsuit Edition. Are you gonna get a Speedo? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay.